Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the living room mock-up in Photoshop. So first, if you don't see this handy layers panel, go to Window, Layers to bring it up. And then to insert your design, you just want to click the arrow next to one of the canvas layouts to expand the layer group and then just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer. And then we want to open up your artwork. So to do that, we'll go to File, Open, and then we'll find your design. And then once it's open, just go to Select All, then Edit, Copy, and then click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste. And you can just go to File, Save to save that and then click the little X on the Smart Object tab and you can close your original graphics and you'll see it put your artwork on the canvas just like that. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can edit in here. So you can change the color of the sofa, um, the pillows, the lampshade, and the wall. You can also change the design on the pillows. To do that you're just going to want to click the arrows next to each of these groups. So for the pillows, we'll just click the arrow next to pillow. And then to change the design, we would just double click the thumbnail icon in the design dash layer. And since we already copied our design, we can just go to edit, paste. If you need to resize that, just go to edit, free transform. And in newer versions of Photoshop, you can just click and drag any one of the four corners and that'll resize it. In older versions you used to have to hold down the shift key to keep it from getting distorted. So if you see it getting distorted just go to edit undo and then do the opposite of whatever you were doing whether that's holding down the shift key or not holding it down. And then we'll just go to file save again to save our smart object and click the X to close it. You'll see the designs now in the pillow. If you wanted to change the color go to the other pillow. Just double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash layer. That's going to open up a color picker. You can enter the color values if you know them or you can click on the rainbow slider here and then click anywhere in the gradiated box. You can also hover over the image and just start clicking different parts to sample different colors that are actually in the image already. And when you got a color you like just click OK. To change the color of the sofa, just click the arrow next to sofa. And then when you find the color dash layer, double click the thumbnail icon and it'll bring up the color picker again and you can choose your color. You know, same thing for the floor lamp, just click the arrow. And then we'll click the arrow next to lampshade and double click the thumbnail icon in the color dash layer. If you wanted a more minimalist design and you wanted to take the lamp out of there you could just click the eye icon next to floor lamp and the lamp would uh, temporarily disappear. To change the color of the wall Click the arrow next to room background, and then the arrow next to color changing wall, and then double click the thumbnail icon and change wall color, and that'll open up our color picker again. And then when you're good with that, you can click OK or you can enter color values. If you wanted to create your own layout, you could just click on any of the canvases and then right click or control click the design dash layer and select new smart object via copy and actually control click or right click again 
and click on link layer so you're only affecting that layer and you can press command semicolon on a Mac or control semicolon on a PC to bring up the guides and then we'll click the eye icon next to the ruler layer you'll see it brings up our ruler and we'll just press command plus on a Mac or control plus on a PC to zoom in and we'll just uh, with this move tool selected we'll just click and drag the canvas so that it's lined up with the one there on the ruler and you can click and drag any of the four corners depending on what version of Photoshop you have you may want to hold down the shift key or not and then once you've got it sized to the size you want we'll press command semicolon or control semicolon again to turn off the guides you might want to add a drop shadow at this point to do that click the little FX button at the bottom of the layers panel and scroll down to drop shadow and here in the layers style panel you can just edit the opacity of the drop shadow, the distance, the angle um, can edit the size if you wanted it to be a separate editable layer you could also hold down the control key or right click on the effects right here and then scroll down to create layer and now you can do a little bit more with a drop shadow like maybe apply motion blur to make it look a little more realistic if you want to edit the opacity of the shadow further with the shadow layer selected you can just click the down arrow next to fill and then drag the slider to the right or the left to change the lightness and darkness of that shadow we'll turn the ruler off um, there's a wall texture here if you wanted a smooth wall you can just click the eye icon next to wall texture and turn it off or you could click on the wall texture layer and then click the down arrow next to opacity and just drag the slider to the right to make it more textury or the left to make it more subtle and that's all there is to editing the living room mock-up in Photoshop please message me at melissabmockups.com if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe to get updates to future videos and as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.